Hi YouTube, hi Floss Tube. This is Nursa from Nurses Stitching Lifestyle. Welcome. This is my video about my cross stitching journey. Uh, this is an update for the middle weekend, second weekend of May um, 2024, Mother's Day weekend. Um, I don't have a little bit of time, but I'm heading off to work shortly and I thought I want to get this done because I actually want to stitch on a couple of these projects again. But um, I want to sort of show the progress I've made in the last couple of weeks. Um, right, so before we go too far, I'm actually going to move my camera around. And I don't know if you guys can see that. No. The little wee pussycat that's down there is um, my smallest little baby. And she's normally hiding. So she may disappear because normally when I start talking, she thinks we've got visitors and <laughs> she doesn't like people, doesn't really like other people, um, but she's such a lovely girl. Okay, side trait. Kitty is down here, just down here, waiting to um, be a nuisance and Chumpa Chop has disappeared. He was behind me. Where did you go, Chumpa Chop? Nope, he's he's wandered off. Um, knowing him, probably an empty belly and we have to go back to the food bowl. Okay, sidetracking, not good. Right, so where shall we start? Okay, so I filmed my video a couple of weeks ago um, and did our, our update. Um, so while that was uploading and stuff, this is the first project I worked on. And it is a stitch in time saves nine from 1886. Now this is a hands across the sea designs exclusive to a stitch in time in Hobart, Tasmania. Still available. You can get it as um, the pattern only, or you can get the as a kit. Um, lovely, lovely little wee design. Um, not that I've spent a lot of time on it. Only sort of spent an hour or so while everything else is getting ready should we have it around the right way um, I am stitching mine with 103 silks color number 664 and this is where I'm at now I did bring along the top here I really got the four letters in and I've made it to the edge so now we'll start coming around and down um because this is on 55 count um it's very very small so i do use um a little wee hoop i use the little spring hoops um just to help open it up so it makes it a bit easier to see but yes not a lot of time spent on that and i'm not worried about that it will um it'll get another session and will come along really quickly it is in my most expensive project bag Yes, I do still use some of these as well, especially for little projects like that. Okay, so the next one that I have worked on is Mary Gibson, 1838, Wild Iris Naps Designs. Now, this was an exclusive to the Homespun and Needleworks Facebook group. You need to be a member of the Facebook group. Um to purchase these exclusives they are for a limited time only and you you have to use the links through them to get it um, normally really beautiful designs sometimes unfortunately being at the bottom of the world they are very expensive to get to us, get down in to get to us which is a wee bit of a shame so i'm getting a bit fussier about which ones i pay okay so i am stitching mary on 40 count uh, Thornfield linen uh, needle and flax and this is whoop, I didn't pull my boards out so it's all gonna be a wee bit kerfuffled today um, so here we are this is where I've got to 
So I had done the green till about here, three quarters of the way across. Um, so I've brought that right across and started coming down the page on that side. Um, the golds, two gold rows, so the slightly different golds. One's a real goldy gold, I guess you would say, and one is more of a, a brownie gold. Um, but they both look beautiful. Um, and I was just over halfway on these, so I've brought them right to their ends and started coming down. I have not done any of the re alphabet this time round. But I did on this side, I'd, some of these were done, not all of them, but I've come down to the halfway point. So the little green stitch here is halfway down the side of the pattern, so I'm halfway at the height. Um, and then I've brought the gold inner border down, because then I can start working off on the inside. Um, yeah, love stitching on this one. Just finding the time to do it is a wee bit of a problem. But we're getting there. This is one of my ma um, mania samplers that I want to work on this month. Okay, so lovely colours. Being done with, I chose mine for Weeks Dye Works. Um, using one thread over two fabric threads. Um, I have watched a few floss tubes lately. We're just going to do a little sidetrack. And a lot of people have talked about how they put things on their rings and stuff like that. Um, and some people, you know, re-card all the weeks and that. I just, I don't, I don't have time to do that. But what I do do is I do, it comes with the big hole punch, right? Where your, where your cotton is. Um, and that's what you use to pull it off. So I have put a little wee hole punch to the side. Not the side where the colour name, it, number and name is, but, um, on the opposite side where the measurement is where it tells you that there's five yards and i have that there so that then they also to the side on the ring i can easily get my cottons in and out um, and i can easily throw it through to find my color that i'm looking for um, it does make it a lot easier but i just thought someone else might want that trick so i am going to put everything away as we go this time just because i don't have time to clean up a gigantic mess Okay, so next one, sorry, you made a little bit of wobbling this time round. Um, I need to find my little screw things to tighten up the next one. So this is in one of the project bags. This is one that Judas made and I brought of Judas. Love them. Okay, so try not to knock it, but it's gonna happen. All right, so this is the one I've been working on this weekend. And it is Martha Wormsley 1847 Hands Across the Sea Samplers. Um, this one was an exclusive for Hobby House Needleworks. I think it's still available. I'm not too sure. But once again, you can get it just as the pattern or you can get it as a kit. Um, I think... No, I don't think we had to go through the group. I'm pretty sure this is just on their website. Okay, so she is being stitched on 40 count that I dyed myself. Um, that's come out really nice. I love the way the fabric has come out. It's got blotches on this side too. So fold it in half at the moment because I'm working up on the top, top row. And I have my little arrow here, which tells me where the center is. So this one here is the center. So this is across the top. And then we've got over here. Now I do have a little counting error over here, which I haven't unpicked yet because I haven't decided if I'm going to or if I'm just going to fudge it around. Um, that will, I'm probably just going to fudge it around because that's what I do. It's a border, it's got leaves and flowers, it's not too hard to do that. So we're up here. So I've come across there and that's that one that I've got a counting error just at the edge of it. So I need to make my mind. Um, but I want to come down, I basically want to do the border first before I get into the yummy part. Um, I say that, but it may not happen, but I definitely want to get this border done before I start anything in here. So 
so she's she's coming along so um on sunday yeah there's work and then i'm gonna duck away to stitchy um catch up with the girls um and stay there for a couple of hours so i'm gonna take martha to stitch on which reminds me i probably need to take my lamp to work and charge it while i'm at work um so yeah 40 count white clay was the base um, and I overdyed it myself. Now, this being, I have am doing the DMC conversion. Um, so you can tell the colours I've used because they get a little bit ratty um, as they get rubbed around and used. And I do, um, I don't do new skeins for every project. Sometimes I do, like if it's a, a big project, I will. But if I can have it left over from another project, I'll use those up first, especially with the DMCs. Um, but yeah, love how that's coming out. So yeah, so she's she's what, another one of my mania projects. I've kind of done a um, apart from a couple of things, I've done I've done an Emma mania. So any of my samplers that started with them. Um, this is another one of my lovely project bags that I bought from Judas. And say love, love the inside. She's such a great seller. Mine never turn out as good as Judas. They're a little bit crooked. <laughs> yeah. Mine, mine normally need a little bit of love. She has, has a lot more patience than I do for them. Okay, so the project in that bag was Mary Ann Diaper. Um, 1826, hands across the sea samplers. And this is just so cute. I absolutely love it. It's on, a, it's on another fabric that I dyed myself. Now, this one is on 36 count. Okay, so this is where we were before, up top. Okay, so we'd worked on, and I did contemplate on doing that. You know, the one over one, filling in the other bird, doing some more flowers, and I thought, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so I went to the bottom. As you can do and at the side not quite there we go right so i have started on one of the basically come along there's a group of on the bottom let's go back this way on the bottom of each one there is this run of tree deer and then another sort of flower and a pot thing and that's on each side of the bottom so I'm working on one side. So the deer is done, the pot's done. The f um, this tree here just needs the rest of the green background filled in. And then this one here is pretty much all the branches in the trunk are done, the leaves, and I've just got to add the other leaves. I don't think, no, I think there was no more branches, leaves, and then um, the red berries or fruit. Um, and then there's a couple of little butterflies floating around it. So that that one, and then I will start over on this side and do the identical on the bottom of that one. So to show you it all in full, oh, there we go, this way. Let's um, come way back to sort of see it. Sorry, you can see through it, can't you? But, um, it's a um, lovely pattern to do, but I've only sort of spent, my samplers I work on at night. Well, you know, if I'm off in the afternoon, evening, so. So I've only had a couple of hours, I think about three, three hours, four hours on that one. So they don't get a lot of stitching time, but we are making progress. Uh, DMC threads. So these ones are on some of the older thread card, thread drops that um, I'd used and stuff, and I'm just using them up before um, we go to the new ones. I like the little wee wee plastic ones. Okay. So I'm just gonna have a little flip around here with my pile. <clears throat> Next one, this is the project bag that I made. Love that fabric. Um, and on the inside, it's just a white bit of wee flowers. 
Okay, so this one here, surprise, surprise, another Hands Across the Sea Samplers. Um, and it was Florence Mary Dickinson. Stitching this one with the 103s. And I haven't got a lot. Um, they are all in. This one was in that exclusive. Uh, yes, it was. Yep, another Hobby House exclusive. Um, and using the 103 silks. Now I need a little wee bag. Okay, so. This is where we're at. So what I did this time, I only had one evening to work on this. Um, and I worked on some more greenery, filling in the leaves and the little wee stalk branches so they can kind of do the, the red parts. You can see my thread still hanging there. And I've finished off the base down here for the deer on that side. Um, I did do a little bit in the middle as well. So, the two little flowers there, and did a little bit in here too. But we're getting there. Um, even though it may only be one or two evenings, it's still making great progress. I'm in no hurry with these, but it's nice to see when you get a motif done or you do the next part. Oh, sorry, it's absolutely loud. Okay. So, my other two projects, is that right? One, two, three. So, they're my five, or my four M's for my mania. Um, a stitch in time course is just a wanting to be finished and done. Um, so, I've got two other samplers that I have worked on. And they are my kind of concentration ones, if you like. Um, and one is the... Scarlet House Smith Sampler. So we're making. This is actually for ages it took me to get into it, and now I'm kind of into it. I'm really enjoying it, um, and I pick it up and I don't want to put it down. So we're making great progress. Forty count DMC threads. Okay, so this section here is where I worked on. So they're all finished now. The dividing border has been brought across. I've still got to bring up the side borders on basically both sides. Um, the gap in the middle. So the gap in the middle is where the basket is here. Um, now I don't want to put Smith on it because Smith isn't my surname. Doesn't mean anything to me. Um, and I think just doing it white is really boring. So, Colorado cross stitcher. In here, changed the colours and did basically the design from the outside using the colours um, in here. And I think I'm going to do something similar between the colours from there, which are very similar to the colours that are used in the berries. Um, I'm still debating, so I think I'm going to do the outline and do do the rest of it, and then I'll um, fill in that middle. But yeah, loving how this is coming to the end. We've got a shot of where we're at. So yeah, uh, just pick that one up. A couple of nights. Look at that. So yes, nice progress on that one. Sorry, Smith Sampler is actually in a bee bag. Gorgeous fabric. Um, loving how that one is coming out. Okay. So the next one I have worked on, or my last sampler that I have worked on, is in the right way. This project bag, which is like a project envelope, um, Vonna's style, the Velcro and stuff. Really easy to make and lovely and soft. Use the, use the um, wadding batting in between. Um, so this one is Anne Dale, 1827, big and beautiful. Sorry, it is a black and white printout. 
It's getting very ticked <laughs> from coming in and out of the bag and being used. Um, we are keep making great progress on this. So, she's a big girl. We have to come back for this one. Right down there. My arms are as stretched as tall as they'll go. We can only just see her in the camera. Okay, so this time round, I worked on the bottom. Oh, my hair's my mouth. Um, so this side here had been done and completed. Um, the big thing in the middle had been done, the big tree. So it's this side here that I've worked on. So I finished off the flowers in here. I've done the little wee motifs. This one finished him. Didn't have much of him, he'd only had a little start, the little motif here. And then I started the one at the top. Um, and that still has to have one over one wording on the inside and the white um, tips of the strawberries and things like that done. Um, the other part that I've still got to do in here is these guys here um, and some little birds and stuff like that around the, around the tree. But that was my aim was to try and work on and get this bottom big scene finished. Um, so we will keep going. But along the top here in the pattern to just dropped. <laughs> it does say and Dale's work finished May 1827. So I don't want that all along there. I've got Anne Dale and I'm gonna put I'm gonna take Dale out, I'm gonna move it just over back that way slightly, and then I'm gonna put the year that she stitched it. I'm gonna put something else in the middle here, and then I'm gonna put my name in the year that I finish it which will hopefully be this year. Um, but you never know. Say that and it won't happen. So that's a slight change I'm going to make. I know it is a reproduction sampler, but honestly, and day all means nothing to my children um, or my granddaughter, but or future family. Um, but at least if it's got my name on it, they'll, um, they'll think twice before they biff it in the bin. But that's so beautiful. She's coming together really nicely. Um, she is being stitched on, oh my gosh, 40 count that I hand dyed. I have to look at my little notes. So on my thread rings, I have little tags, either round ones or different shape ones. Um, and I always have the project name. And on the back, the fabric, um, count and whether what the name of it was or whether I've stitched it, dyed it or not. I say stitched it. Well, of course I've stitched it. Oh, seriously. Well, time for another drink. Um, so these are the DMC threads. They're not holding together too bad. But yeah, we're getting there. So that was my last sample that I worked on. And those, one, two, three, four, five, six samplers are the samplers that I'm concentrating on this month. The four for Mania and the other, uh, seven samplers, four for Mania and the other three that I'm just picking up and stitching on. I am missing my other ones, trust me, but that's what happens. Okay, so like I said, they're what I stitch at night. In the morning, I've gone back this year to working on and click sorry um working on my christmas ornaments okay so this one that you're gonna see next are in another bag that just made me and i love this one always get so many comments on this bag it's gorgeous i love the snowflake fabric in the middle lovely um so i finished i finished some yay so excited so the 12 Berries of Christmas by Erica Michaels. I finished stitching all 12. 
Yay, finally. Oh, then the drama of putting them all together. Okay, so we have days one, two, and three. The partridge, turtle doves, and the French hens. That's them. Sorry about the glare. That's them there. So here we go. The partridge. Just going to drop them on the other chair. The two doves. I can hear a cat in the food bowl. And the three French hens. Right, so the next one is part two, which was days four, five, and six, which is the calling birds, golden rings, and geese laying. They were fun to stitch. Calling birds. Five golden rings. Uh, six geese are laying. Now mine are... I should put a tea there, shouldn't I? 40 count. Um, just antique... Antique white? Decru? Whatever you want to call it. Just plain so I got. Not over-dyed. Um, because I wanted the detail of the projects to, to tell the story. I'm just going to stop halfway. Um, stitched on weeks. Five weeks threads. Um, that's just my little... I wanted to see how the big thing I was going to be before. So that's taken from the template. Which we have my... Oh, that'll be in the bottom of the bag. Um, and I've sewn up the side. And then it will be filled and close. So they're not going to be that big. Which is good. Um, I'm still debating on whether I'm going to fill them just with a, you know, hobby fill, DD stuffing, or um, whether I'm going to put um, crushed walnut shells in them. Because if I'm going to actually hang them on the tree, they won't want to be too weighted. Because otherwise it'll buckle the branch up, so I can't have that. But oh, love all the colours. Can't wait to get all those weeks back into my, um, my stash to be able to use again. Okay, we got sidetracked then, didn't we? Right, so part three was days seven, eight, and nine. Um, swimming swans, maids and milking, and ladies dancing. So, part seven, swimming swans. Cute. Part eight. Make sure I'm not showing you the backs. Maids milking. Oh, and even when you're trying to, um, you're stitching these and the little details in their faces, oh, they take a little bit, but they're so fun. Um, nine was Lady Stancing. They're so cute. Okay, so then the last three was part four days 10 11 and 12 leaping lords pipers and the drummers They're very cool so part 10 leaping lords part 11 the drummers oh my gosh look at that there's even cat hair on it surprise surprise Okay, and part 12. The drummers. Get here on that one too. Okay, so that's my 12 berries. Um, so they're either going to be finished this month, that's my goal, or next month. I want to complete um, assembling them um, before I start Christmas in July. Um, they're not the only ones. I, I do have another video I'm going to make, and that is show, going to show you all the Christmas ornaments I have stitched that I haven't assembled yet. Um, and that is going to be part of my um, June stitching assembling process. Okay, so another one that I've been stitched. Oh, excuse me, just one more. 
Okay, oh, Kitty's now come up. Oh, come here. You gonna come? No, you're gonna hide. Okay. Right, so I have a black and white version. It's kind of a bit hard to see. So these ones here are Heartstring Sampler and they're called Advent Season Ornament Set. Now, I know mine's a black and white photo, but in the originals that Bears has done from Heartstring Sampler, this is like in a, um, it's like a stormy grey. It's like a dark, it's, it's not a real dark grey, it's, it's, um, I guess for me I would call it a medium grey, but like a storming day. Um, and they look really nice, really beautiful. But I decided that I wanted mine to stand out. They stand out lovely, but I wanted mine to stand out a little bit more. So... They are being stitched with the DMC thread. Three colours. That's all these ornaments take. Um, Ecru, 3777. And look, I've even got one still on a plastic bobbin. Uh, 469. Right, so mine are being stitched on this fabric. Which is called Midnight. And it is from Country Stitch. Now, the Catherine is a fabric dyer in New Zealand. There's the e email website there. Um, and she does a wonderful job. But 40 count. If you kind of hold it about there, that is about right for colour wise. It's a it's a navy, it's a kind of like a navy, um, but it's got sort of like lighter and darker I love it it's beautiful for ornaments okay so let's just have a little fold up here so here was the first one that I stitched hope and he's so good the little tree forest and there he is in the tree forest I love it and the big star okay and the little piece of white fluff that shouldn't have been there we go to hope okay so then the second one is joy and that is just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous love how they stand out on this fabric and i can't wait to finish these and do the fully finishing okay so number three oops hold on we'll just adjust was stitching on it this morning so I'm just going to poke my needle through and just pull that thread okay so I try and make the most of my fabric so they are down one side and then I'm coming along the other one and because it's dark fabric and it's 40 count I do use my little spring hoop as you can see the hoop mark which honestly will iron out and stretch out really easily um, is peace So I've got the rest of the dove here to f finish, um, which is what her tail, tummy and tail, or back wings, tail wings. Um, and then there's two little stars at the top here by the tree, and that one will be done. So that will be like tomorrow morning. So there'll be no problems to get that finished. We stretch her out. She'll, but oh my gosh, I love how they, here it is there about how dark it is. It's great. Um, so one and a half to go. And that set will be done. So I like to complete the sets um, so that I can have them, you know, all on the tree all at once. Um, I get a bit like that. And I like to do all the finishing of each set all at once. Okay. So in June um, is Lizzie the Stitcher. She has a floss tube, so please go and check her out. She's lovely, Lizzie is. She's another New Zealand um, cross-stitcher, and it's her birthday month. So, for her birthday month, um, she asked if I would like to join in, and I said, yes, I would. So, we are going to be stitching on Stacey Nash Primitives. Sorry, I should have thought about it and taken these out of the bags. Um, so, I have chosen three. I don't know if I'll finish all three, but a couple of them are quite small, so I think I'll, I'll bowl through those. Um, 
and they should be fine. So the first one I want to search is called Schoolhouse a Sampler Sewing Bag. And it's not that big. It's all finished size if you do it on 32, which of course I won't. Um, is nine and a half by six inches. Um, it is done with gentle art threads. I've only got three in there, but I have got the other two that I'm missing. There's only five colours for this one. It is 140 wide by 90. And of course, you know, lots of open space being that, that it's a sampler. Um, so definitely, she's going to be done. That's one I'm going to do. Okay, the second one. Sorry about the crank ring. Is little oh wait, little red work pin cape. So it has that on one side and then that on the other side. I think I'm actually gonna do it as two pin capes. I'm gonna do this one and then this is a separate one. Um, I'm going to use the called for Wheats Dye Works the Saiyan. Um, beautiful. You know me and my reeds. Got to have them. So I'm going to use that. So I've got my thread. I've got my pattern. I've got fabric. I have no issues there. We'll be done on 40 count again. Okay, so number three. This is the one I don't think I'm going to get finished. Um, and that's why I chose the other two as well. Okay, and it is the 1806 Manor House Sewing Roll. Absolutely gorgeous. I've loved this. I've had this since this came out. But why? Why is it still sitting in my bag, not stitched? And I reckon it's because it's a small. Well, what I class as a small. Medium to small. So this one is 114 wide by 240 high because it goes that way. So, can't wait to do her. Big Stoics. And she will be done on 40 counts as well. So yes, that is my future plans. Um, I have started organising my Christmas in July. Um, and I am... I'm looking at doing 12 new sets. I know. You're all thinking I'm crazy, and maybe I am. Some of them do have 12 in the 12 sets. Some of them only have four. Um, but I want to get those 12 sets started. Whether I get one out of the set done or not, it doesn't matter. That doesn't worry me. I just want to get them started. I have containers and containers full of Christmas patterns. Um, I certainly do not need to buy any more Christmas ones, but, you know, Jingle Ball is coming again soon in December. And I will, <laughs> I will be signing up for that. Um, I will be buying new patterns from that and I will be stitching them. Um, so yes, there will be a lot more Christmas. Who knows, we might even have to buy another tree, but not this year. We're just going to make it work. Okay, um... Let me just think. So yes, I do have a few sets there that I want to stitch. So I will do that either the next video or the one after. And I will show you all my Christmas in July plans. Um, I will try and do the one with the ornaments that I want to get completed. Um, ready to go load up. I'll try and get that done. Um, which means that I then hold myself accountable to actually get these things fully finished. Because some of them are stitched from last year and have not been fully finished. Some of them, a few, even go from the year before and they still haven't been fully finished. And it's because you get sidetracked with all the new stuff. We all do. We all know we do. Um, but yeah, I think that is probably pretty much it. So thank you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, putting up with my rambling. It's not as organised as normal. I do understand that. <laughs> and that's okay. Um, but please remember, one stitch at a time will get these projects done.
whether it's the little wee ornaments, as you can see, they, they don't take that long really, um, or whether it is the bigger projects like the ones up on the walls behind me. Just little bits at a time. One stitch at a time, little chunks at a time. And don't stress, don't panic about it, you will get them done. I do. Okay guys, happy stitching, bye.